Today's lesson is 6-9, least common multiples. So least common multiples are usually referred to as LCM. Don't get that confused with GCF. So greatest common factor GCF, which we had earlier in the week, is when you're breaking the numbers down into smaller pieces and you're looking for the biggest piece that goes into both numbers. Least common multiple, we're talking about multiples. So we're talking about bigger than or the same as our number. So least common multiple uh, is the smallest, it's least, the smallest number that is a multiple of both or all of the numbers that you're talking about. So multiple, you're going to take your number, say your number is 3. The multiples of 3 would be 3 times 1 which is 3, times 2, times 3, times 4, and they go on and on and on. You just keep increasing what you're multiplying, or the multiplier um, by 1, and those would be all, your, all of your multiples. Excuse me. All right, so when you are looking for a least common multiple, or LCM, we are going to be given two numbers. So say we have three and four. When you're given these two numbers, you want to uh, think about your multiples. So just like we did with greatest common factor, you can list them out. So we could say, all right, well, the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, and the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. And you could just make some long lists and then see, oh, look, there's a 12 on both lists. And that's the smallest one that's on both lists. So our LCM equals 12. So you can do that. I think that's a lot more work than you need to do. What I suggest is you look at your larger number. So in this case, we'd look at four. And then you're going to see, does your smaller number go into four without a remainder? No, it doesn't. So then we'd have to start thinking about multiples of four. You will go until you find one that you can divide by three without a remainder. So we would think four. No, it doesn't work. Eight. No, it doesn't work. 12, oh, I can divide 12 by 3 without a remainder. So that's my LCM. Let me do a few more of them in that way. So if we had 3 and 6, I look at my larger number, 6. Does 3 go into 6 without a remainder? Sure does. So my LCM is 6. If I had 8 and 24. Look at my larger number. Does 8 go into 24 without a remainder? Yeah, it does. So that's my LCM, 24. Uh, let's see if we can find one that that doesn't work for. Um, okay, so 16 and 40. Does 16 go into 40 without a remainder? No, it doesn't. So then I'm going to say, all right, well, 40 times 2 equals 80. Does 16 go into 80 without a remainder? Yeah, it does. So my LCM is 80. Uh, let's look at one that has three numbers. So we're going to look at, ooh, let's look at 16. 3, 9, and 12. So we think about our larger number still. 3 goes into 12 without a remainder, but 9 doesn't. So then I need to start multiplying. So 12 times 2 would be 24. So of course 12 goes into 24. 9 doesn't. 3 does, but because 9 doesn't, that doesn't work. So then we take 12 times 3, which would be 36. Does 9 go into 36? Yeah, it does. Does 3 go into 36? Yes, it does. 
So our LCM there is 36. That's really all there is to this lesson. I encourage you guys to try is page 194. And I would like you to do 3 to 21 by 3s. I, I'm going to do the homework review for 6.7 and 6-9 together. So look for that. And I will see you all soon. Take care.